Delayed gratification is one of the most powerful tools that you can use when it comes to money. That you're delaying today's pleasure for tomorrow's pleasure. You're willing to delay today to have a better future tomorrow. And most people don't do that. Most people are like, well, I got paid. Let's go party. Got paid today. It's Friday night. Let's go spend all my money. I want to talk about this a little bit more. It's not as simple as just saying, well, wait forever. When I retire, when I'm 80, I'll have all this money spent. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying delayed as in at the end of this summer or once I pay off this credit card or once I have $20,000 saved for my down payment on my house or once I pay off my car. That's the delayed gratification I'm talking about. I'm not talking about 50 years because I don't like the idea of working until the day you die or working until you can retire and then you die later. That's kind of what happens. That's why the government tries to keep pushing out the retirement age is because they know within a couple of years of you stop working that most people die. And this is why that back in the 80s and 90s when you had defined benefit where you work for GM, for example, General Motors, and you had a defined pension, they would offer you the pension early because they knew within three to four years you'd be dead and they didn't have to continue to pay you out. But delayed gratification can be so powerful because now you're working for a goal and you can see it. You know that, hey, when I pay off this $3,000 credit card, I'm going to go on vacation and I'm going to go go scuba diving or I'm going to go to this nice dinner. That's the delayed gratification is once I've done this, then I'm going to do that. Not when I'm 80 years old. I remember I was really into delayed gratification in 2016 and 17. I was really pushing that. And it changed for me in 2018. And what changed for me is as I was laying in the hospital bed, dying with the pulmonary embolism and being told over and over again that you probably weren't going to make it out of this. I was thinking about the delayed gratification that I was doing with my Ferrari that I was going to wait like five more years before I got the Ferrari. I had the money. And I decided at that point, like, no, when I get out of the hospital, as soon as I can drive, I'm going to go buy my Ferrari because I'm not going to wait another five years. So I think I was looking at the delayed gratification as just making it delayed for no reason. I had nothing attached to it. So when I say delayed gratification, I'm talking about short little goals, maybe a five-year plan, maybe a three-year plan, maybe a three-month plan. So that's the delayed gratification, the long-term planning that I think is holistic and the right way to do it because it's not so far off, but it's enough to keep you going a little bit at a time. That's what I think about delayed gratification.